This is the kitchen. This is where I spend most of my time bouncing between here and here. So we designed this whole kitchen from scratch. It was quite important that we had this big opening when we wanted kids. I wanted to be able to look into the garden and see the kids and like socialise with people out here while I'm still cooking because I'm doing all the cooking in the house but I obviously want to still chat to people and I can easily get to like my herbs and stuff out there. When we designed this kitchen I was very specific about where I wanted the chopping board and where I wanted the bins, the bins are down here. I can just you know scrape all the, uh, all the spare bits into the bin. So in terms of the cupboards this is the one that I I'm always in, I'm always jumping into this one. Because it's got all my herbs and spices in here, which I use all the time. Pink Himalayan salt, that's an essential, always have that. Big one that I use a lot is turmeric, garam masala, cumin, paprika, like these are the ones I sort of play around with. That's what I love about cooking so much, is just experimenting with different herbs and spices and seeing what happens. Always have a bag of cocoa with the kids running around and they want a quick snack. I make a little uh, keto muffin with uh, coconut flour, like the cocoa, it's, it's all here, so I have it ready to go. Here's another good one, I have uh, collagen peptides, because it's pretty good for the gut, and I put that in the, in the smoothies, I put that in my kids' smoothies. And I make a lot of like chia uh, puddings. Chia pudding, I find that chia seeds are amazing to be able to make desserts, like little mousses and stuff. Really versatile food, and plus really good for you. My wife made me get, have um, this nut, tray because there was always all my bags of nuts were always everywhere so she was like I need you to put them in a tray so all my nuts and seeds are all in here so I got all my macadamias, pecans, I try and go through as many nuts as I can because nuts have a lot of health benefits so I try and fit them into my food I make like a, a, a cheesecake crust out of the hazelnuts and stuff and uh, you can put hazelnuts into the chocolate and you get like this Nutella flavour it's great so yeah this cupboard here is used a lot in the pack you will always find eggs my wife, her family are from an egg farm and uh, we have an endless supply of eggs, which is great. What I use most in the kitchen, I definitely use extra virgin olive oil. This is a cold extracted, uh, unfiltered extra virgin olive oil straight from Italian olives, that's a really good one. And then, of course, my coffee machine. I'm always making coffees for people, so it's a big part of the, the social element of, of this house and this kitchen. The coolest person I've cooked for is my son, Freddy. He's definitely the coolest. One person that I, I, I think is really important for me to cook for and they like my food is my dad, because I've always loved my dad's cooking. He's quite opinionated when it comes to food. So when he says to me that he likes something I've cooked, uh, that feels good. As well as my mum's, I shouldn't forget my mum. My wife put photos of the kids um, as they've grown up. Um, so we've always got a visual of what the kids look like, it's great. Um, a little family photos and stuff, it's great. It's the fridge, a few things in here, absolute essentials that I use all the time. I use organic grass-fed ghee. I've got a lot of influence from like Ayurvedic cookery um, in my food, so um, ghee is a good one, I use that a lot. And we've got a fruit drawer here, and grass-fed butter in the house for the kids because it's uh, they like it. I actually found out recently that uh, grass-fed yogurt, cow's yogurt, is really good for my for my gut bacteria. So I started having these grass-fed yogurts, which are amazing, and I feel great on them as well. I, I usually avoid dairy, but they're really good. So I started using these for various different Indian dishes to have as uh, like a cucumber cumin dip on the side or something, and it works so well. You know, it's, a, it's a revelation to do using yogurt. Then of course, my big favorite is Montezuma, 100% dark chocolate. These are 100% dark chocolate buttons. Actual buttons made out of 100% dark chocolate, and they're delicious. Dark chocolate's a bit like coffee, you know? It's like if you get the right one, it's good enough, you get this natural sweetness that is amazing and it works perfectly in cooking. Another thing that I always seem to have in the house because I think it adds so much flavor to food. I came across them recently, I used to avoid them, but anchovies, anchovies are so good for adding like this punch of flavor to your food. I started using them and it, it was a game changer. So always got anchovies in the house. Well, it for the, for the fridge really. and go on all day with all that stuff. I'm always, always making different kinds of vegetables. I try to get as much variety of vegetables as I can. And, and try and, and do different things with them. I try and experiment with vegetables. Vegetables, I think, are way more versatile than people give them credit for. Something that, on in its entirety, just looks like a piece of cabbage, and you can turn cabbage into spaghetti. I don't really use non-stick 
um, coated pan because they're not, not great for you. So I'm going to use ceramic and then um, my pride and joy, cast iron. This bad boy is amazing. Also looks great in photos as well. <laughs> they get used all the time. I've always got like three pans on the go, which is, which is uh, quite handy to have. I build them up over time and I just go and buy loads of pans. The biggest disaster I've ever had in this kitchen been fairly fortunate, been pretty low on disasters. The biggest one really, I mean, it happens every now and again, is if I'm cooking something that I need to get a really hot pan, like if I'm doing steak, I want to get a nice crispy skin on a salmon, I tend to get a, a, quite a nice hot pan. There's been times where my wife's come home and I've, I've smoked out of the kitchen, the extractor pan's not managed to take on the, uh, the brutality of my, <laughs> my smoky cooking. If you could change one thing about your kitchen, what would it be? Uh, you know what it would be? The fridge, when I open this fridge, it does that, right? I can't open this drawer all the way. So now I have to like shove my cabbages in, which is a bit of a pain. You will never find uh, sugar in this kitchen, number one. You won't find any processed foods really in this kitchen. We try to cook everything fresh, so you never really find like packaged foods and things like that. I don't really have cookbooks in the kitchen because I find they, they clutter things up. It, you know, 21st century now, I just go straight to my iPad and uh, I have cookbooks on there. Dr. Mark Hyman is one who, what the heck should I cook? That's great. I mean, he cooks with all this amazing whole foods and, and low sugar. Katie Caldessi, any of Katie Caldessi's cookbooks are amazing for the way I cook. The thing is with my mentality as well is food is medicine, right? Food is, is it makes you feel good or not. And everything I cook has an aim to make you feel better from, from eating it. And it tastes great as well. That's the idea behind my, my cooking.